Did you know a government scientist became a test subject for his own biological weapon? In 1951, Dr. William Boyles worked at Fort Detrick's most classified laboratory. His job was creating weaponized anthrax for the Cold War. Every day, he handled the world's deadliest spores, confident in his protective suit. During a routine test with airborne anthrax, his containment gear failed. He breathed in a lethal dose of his own creation. At first, he felt fine. The exposure seemed minor, but within three days, fever consumed him. His skin turned black with lesions. Military doctors treated him like a lab rat, documenting every symptom for weapons research. They prioritized data over saving his life. His lungs filled with blood as the anthrax spread through his body. For weeks, he suffered in agony while researchers took notes. His final testimony exposed America's secret biological weapons program. Then he died, becoming just another classified statistic.